Growing up as a kid, I watched MacGyver. So when I heard that Richard Dean Anderson was going to be part of Stargate, a movie that I really enjoyed in the sci-fi genre, I just had to give it a look. And yeah, unfortunately, I was very disappointed. I didn't really like the Jaffa's costumes with the big snake head. And for some reason, they kind of went away from one season to the next, which is a good thing, but then it kind of kept nagging me. So yeah, I did not like. I First season, I maybe saw two episodes, Apophis this, Apophis that. I, I, I didn't enjoy. The effects and everything else kind of looked very low budget, and I was expecting something so much better. Especially that this Stargate SG-1 kind of started after Babylon 5, which really used a lot of CGI. So I was kind of expecting a lot of CGI, and maybe the CGI would be getting better. And we were back to using costumes, and I, I just couldn't get into it. Even Season 2, I caught like one or two episodes. It was still about Apophis this, Apophis that. I, it, it didn't resonate with me. It's not what I thought it would be. And then one day I came across this episode where O'Neill meets up with Thor. And that episode, I really liked it. Then I'm like, okay, maybe it was a slow burn at first, but maybe we are getting to exploring this galaxy, this universe. And hopefully it will carry on to something else. And I'm kind of glad that, you know, throughout the years, throughout after season one, after season two, I kind of kept checking into this series to see where it was going. It's really been a blessing because I think starting with season three, the show is flying off of its own wings. And I really started getting into it and watching it. It's not even until... We got to the end, and then I got into Stargate uh, Atlantis, which I really love. From the get-go, I really liked the concept of Stargate Atlantis. I didn't really necessarily like the decors and this ancient vibe that they were giving, but I liked the concept of it. But yeah, it's only after everything started that I went and rewatched the first ones. They're still not connecting to me, but overall, it was a work in progress. And it, the show just kept getting better and better as the years came, went on. And then in the later two seasons, we had Ben Browder in there. And I was kind of confused because I did see a couple of episodes of uh, Farscape. And even recently, I did a video on Farscape and is it worth watching? So over the past two months, I've been watching that. Check out a review that I'm about to do on that topic. But they brought new energy into the show. I'm glad they did because it was a good show. It, did, it does deserve its praises. So folks, that's pretty much my experience and my journey with Stargate SG-1. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Did you always love the show from the get-go? Did you always like the cast members even though they were changing? What did you think of the Jaffa snakeheads all, all of a sudden disappearing? I'm interested in knowing what you guys think of all of this. I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. But that is just my opinion. Let me know yours in the comments down below. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't like it, thank you so much for listening this long. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Until then, check these out.